Hello, lifestylers, and welcome to Lifestyle with Latasha. I'm so glad you decided to stop by this channel today. So if this is your first time here, welcome. And for all others that have been here before, I want to thank you for joining me again. Today, we're going to be taking a quick look at our kitchen for fall decor. So I thought about it. Everybody's doing Christmas, and don't get me wrong, I'll be doing Christmas soon, like with next week. However, I decided since Thanksgiving is coming and this is my first time doing my YouTube channel, I decided to stay with the fall decor a little bit longer so we could celebrate and see how to get some inspiration on entertaining our family and friends as they come over for Thanksgiving. So here is a quick overview of what our kitchen space actually looks like. As you can see, the table has been cleaned, the counters have been cleaned, the um, console table has been cleaned. Everything has been wiped down. It's ready for me to prep it. Um, and what I did here on the counter was I showed everything that I utilized. I really, really hope that you enjoy this video. And if you do, please hit that like button because it really helps my algorithms and I would greatly appreciate it. But this is going to be a video that showcases all of this space and how we decided to decorate it for fall for our family that's gonna be coming over for Thanksgiving. So I hope that you really like it and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So as you can see, there was quite a few spaces um, in my kitchen that will be getting decorated, um, but I'm gonna start out with our play settings. So let me just say this, our kitchen is an active kitchen. We literally utilize it every day. We sit down at the table. We typically have dinner together. Um, and so we have it set for dinner. However, I'm going to be doing it a little bit more formal than I normally do for our family um, in the sense of I'll be doing um, some chargers and I'll be doing more silverware as in a formal setting, which we typically don't do for dinner. Um, however, we do use glassware, we do use silverware, we do use real china, um, and that's just something that my husband and I have decided to do over the past 28 years that we've been together. So it's something that our kids have kind of grown up with, and it's a time for us to talk and have a good time. So I know I had also in an earlier video, which you can catch on my YouTube channel, I had mentioned how this was a home that we recently purchased only a few months ago. And I am so excited because we have done some major projects in this house already, um, starting with that massive island behind me or on the side of me. Um, so I know that in this video, I also mentioned that we will be doing um, some lifestyle and a part of what is important for me in lifestyle is stretching our funds as far as they can go. So I have an idea of the things that I'm interested in. And once I have my mind set on what particular items I'm wanting to do, then I kind of go after it. And that means sometimes we have to be a little bit patient and waiting until everything is kind of in motion. So with that being said, that island behind me, I was able to snag from a store that was closing, a cabinet store that was closing here in the local uh, Atlanta area. And when that store closed, they put the items that they had liquidating from that store on Facebook Marketplace. So that island that you see behind me that is currently in a state of 11 feet long, was actually about four feet when I purchased it and I got it for $375. Um, that's probably one of the proudest things that I've done in this house so far. I'm just going to tell you, I am an avid lover of Facebook Marketplace and estate sales because you can find some of the best deals. And so this for us at this location was one of those deals that I was able to find. And the cabinet maker that was in the store at the time 
was able to come to the house and transition it into 11 feet and I love it. So with this, we finally set the table and this is the final touch. These are some remote control candles that I bought from Amazon and I'll link them below. So the next area that we're gonna be going to is gonna be a console table that I decided to bring into the kitchen. Now, typically I have this set up behind my couch, but I decided that this space needed something to give it some interest because I don't know if you could see the tip of that TV that's above it, but below that there's really nothing else that was there. And this was slim enough that I thought it was a perfect fit. It had black legs, so it matched the countertop. And I thought it was a great fit. So here I'm doing a riser with a garland wreath that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. And what I've done is I've put those uh, remote control candles on there. And um, I actually love those. It was about nine of them that come in. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was... Uh, 9 or 12. I'll link it below. But what I love about them is that they're from remote control and they're really thin so you can do multiples at one time. As you can see, after I set that up, I decided to move it to the bottom of that console table. Reason being is because we have remotes for the candles, remotes for the TV, and remotes for the system that we use in the TV. And I needed a place for those, so I decided to put this little tray there that'll give us somewhere to home those remotes and so they won't kind of be all over the place. And there you have it. So the next area that we're gonna be doing as a kitchen is our hot chocolate and hot tea bar. Now I know the majority of people typically drink coffee. We are really not a coffee family. Um, so on occasion, on occasion, my husband will drink a cup of coffee, maybe in the winter time. Um, and so I keep some on it on hand and stock with for that, but we don't really put it out on display. It truly is a coffee bar. So this little vignette is um, a, a three tier trade that I got from Pop Shelf. I think it was like 10 bucks and 50% off. It was clearance. I put some pumpkins on there and filled that space. This tray, is a marble tray and I've had it forever. And this is what we usually use, usually use to house all of our tea and hot chocolate items. So you see me putting the coffee mugs on there. I put a little decorative, a uh, little piece, piece that I got from um, Kirkland's. I also put um, the cinnamon sticks that are dipped in chocolate. They're really so good, but not too sweet. Got those from World Market. Then we put marshmallows, peppermint pieces, um, and then some chocolate bits. And as you can see, the chocolate bit is empty, so that tells you which one we used the most. This sign I was got, able to get from Amazon. I thought it was really pretty. It tied in all the colors and it tied in the black for me, so it was great. This piece is a piece that I got from Hobby Lobby, um, and I really love it because it, it kind of just pulls all those pieces together. Here's some picks that I have. I've got a candle. I get all of my candles typically from um, Home Goods, which they have such good smelling candles. And then I'm gonna just set up the rest of this vignette space with our cutting boards that we utilize most often. And then this little piece I was able to get from Dollar General. And as you can see, it says Hello Fall, which I thought was really pretty. And it ties in with those cutting boards. So that was really cute. Now, of course, as I said, it's a working kitchen. So that container that those uh, utensils are in came from Pop Shelf. And then this little vignette is uh, from Hobby Lobby. This is a set that looks like books, but it's actually just a wood box that I thought was perfect size and cute to go in that little corner. Gonna put in a pop of color, because of course we need some color. And then these little birds, I wish I had brought them closer to the screen. They came from Shein, and they were only two or three bucks, I believe, but I think they're so pretty and they tie in all the colors for me. This sign, an oldie but goodie. I've had it forever. Um, I probably need to spray paint it a little bit, um, but I use it all the time. And then I have my utensils that, um, my uh, cutting board, cutting wear that I got from Amazon. The Hello Fall um, towel matches the sign that I had over on the bar area. So I thought it was really pretty to kind of tie it all in together. Now, of course, if you like anything in this video and you want to get more information on what we're going to be doing on this channel, 
I'm going to ask that you subscribe now. I would love to have you be a lifestyler that's going through life and showcasing all the things that you're doing and following me and seeing what we're going to be doing here in our home. I'm really excited about this home, as I mentioned in a prior video, which I'll have it linked below. This is our forever home and it was a short sale. So it has taken a major amount of work to get it to where it is now. And we've only done it in a few short months. So I'm just going to be really honest. We are tired, but we are so excited at what we have. And we're really blessed to be able to be in this position. So I hope that you want to join us and see some of the other changes that we're doing because we've got a lot more to do. So here I'm setting up a place setting at the end of the counter. And just to tell you a little bit about this space. So... Typically, you'll have places for seating on the side of the island. We decided that when we do entertaining, which we kind of have a lot of friends over um, and, and family, that we decided we wanted to be able to utilize that full space. And if we put chairs over there, people are sitting there. So we're not able to maximize the use of that space. And so we decided to do it that way. This place space works perfect for us. Typically, my grandsons sit here when they eat their breakfast um, and we'll eat here when we're eating a snack for lunch or something like that. But I wasn't too stressed about not having the additional seating at the counter because right behind me is our screen in porch. And so the weather here is so nice often that we're able to open the doors and fully go out there and enjoy that space. So this works out perfect for us. So this leaf, this golden leaf, I was able to get from Kirkland's and I'll link that below. And then this pumpkin that's lit up, I've had it for maybe six or seven years. Here's a dough bowl that I was able to get from um, Hobby Lobby. And as you can see, it was a great price and it was only, I wanna say $34.99 and then it was 60% off. So I got it for a really great deal. And this, I wish I hadn't gotten more of because I could use them all around the house. This jar was only $9.99 and 60% off. And unfortunately, I have not seen them any longer. So I don't know if they have something similar, um, but I'll definitely have to step, stop back by and check, that, check them out with that. So here you see me placing some stems that I got from Hobby Lobby um, in this jar. I absolutely love these because in my backyard, We've got some majorly large trees that turn just these colors. And when I tell you this is such a hearty stem that gives you such an amazing pop of color, it's so pretty and you just can't go wrong with it. And the great thing about it is that the stems are really thick and so you can maneuver it and they're pliable enough that you can make it go the way that you want to. So I really love those and the, the pop of color that it gives the kitchen overall. So I also mentioned that you know we are we have a usable kitchen i didn't want to do something overly large i needed something that we could kind of move around um, so i decided to put everything in the dough bowl and that worked out perfect this little wreath and um, we got from hobby lobby it was 9.99 and 60 percent off isn't it so cute i loved it i got a couple of those just to be able to put around the kitchen and i love that In that spot, I'm gonna put my fresh fall um, candle that I, once again, got from at home. It's such an amazing smell. I'm gonna turn that just a little bit just to make sure that we don't set the house on fire, which would be terrible. This acorn is something that I've had for quite a long time and um, I love it. These beads I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think they were $5.99 and they were 60% off. So I was really excited about those really pretty gave it a, a really pretty final look and then this sign this sign I, I got from um, pop shelf um, and I really thought that it was a great fit just to kind of put in I'm always wanting my family to be reminded of the small things and so thankful is one of the things that we always should be grateful for so here I'm gonna light the candle and start that aroma going throughout the house and just give it a nice cozy feel.
so some of the final touches that I'm going to add in is going to be these two wreaths. They are more like wood with picks on the back and then it's got all the accessories on the front and I love it. They give it a great touch. So here's an overview of what the place settings look like and that dough bowl and it's down on the other end. So this allows you to see all of that space that we have in between and I just am so excited. So here we are back at the um, hot chocolate station and the hot tea station. And that's what it looks like with an overview and that candle that I absolutely love. The sign, once again, from Amazon. And here's another angle. So as you can see, it's gotten dark outside from when we started this video. So I wanted to give you an overview of what the space looks like at night with the candles lit and only the accent lighting, lighting of the kitchen. Oh my gosh, it's so cozy and I absolutely love it. And my family does too. We just love being in a cozy environment. Can be honest and hope that you would love this video but more importantly that you would share it with some of your family and friends i would really appreciate it thank you for joining me today and i hope that you found some type of inspiration so as we get closer to thanksgiving these are some things that you could do for your family so here's that console table and i want to mention that tree there that's in that bay window i got that from amazon and I'm telling you, that thing is gorgeous. So if they still have them, definitely check that piece out and see if you can add it into your decor. Here's an overview of the, of the kitchen counter where the countertop is, the countertop st uh, stove is. And there's the gather sign, which truly is what we do in our kitchens, isn't it? So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you found some type of inspiration and I hope that you're looking and willing to share it with some of your family and friends. Please give me some information and content uh, um, comments about what you love. Here's that tree up close. Uh, what you love most about this video. I would really love to engage with you and I really just appreciate you stopping by lifestyle with Latasha. As always, it's been a complete pleasure and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care. Bye.